Hi guys, Claudia from Spiral of Designs here, and I've been I'm joined here by Team Hyde from Winmore Clients. And basically, one of the main questions that I get a lot, especially from clients, is about in the automation field. Uh, so Tim is basically Australia's leading expert in automation in small businesses. And he's the go-to guy when I need to these questions answered for myself in my own business too. So I'm going to let Tim take it away here. Um, I guess to very start with it, uh, what's automation? Mate, Who needs it? Why is it important? <laughs> Mate, thanks for the introduction. Um, and look, awesome to be here in the um, uh, digital business shelter. I, I know that like so many of us have questions all the time. And I look, I, I see... Um, in other forums as well, sort of people sort of throw out and say, hey, like I need this thing or I need that thing or I've got a, a question for this, that and the other thing. I think the thing about automation for me, marketing automation is the use of technology to really scale the number of um, and emulate the number of one-on-one -on -one conversations that we can have with our, with our prospects, with our stakeholders in our business um, to ideally move them from a position where they don't know who we are to become raving fans of ours. And I, I would say fairly often that the success of our the success of our small business is based on how many conversations that we can have, and particularly how many one-on-one -on -one conversations we can have. Right? So marketing automation is a technology that allows us to do that at scale without us necessarily having to be involved in the process. Nice. Cool. Yeah. I know that, I, um, sorry. On. I know that from personal uh, experience now that I've been getting a lot more into the automation side of things, I've seen the value and power of that, uh, especially a few clients who are actually interested in automation when they're asking me in return questions of what I've set up. It's really cool because then I can carry the conversation to them being like, oh, actually, that was an automated email that you got. And that makes them be like, oh, okay, cool. That's, I can see that power. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, how would you do that? We just think yeah, when we start to look at the bigger market in in how we market our business, um, I think if we look at, firstly, I guess two concepts that I think are important to think about as we look at you know, how we want to grow our business. Um, the first one is, is looking at the sort of broader market. Okay, Now, the broader market rule or the broader market formula says that about 3% of people are ready to buy from you right now. It doesn't mean to say they will buy, but they're ready to buy. And, and largely, you know, advertising and marketing in general is very much focused at this 3%. So it's very, very noisy space of people are ready to sort of part with their money today, right? The other 97% of the market is made up of a, what I would call five groups of people, right? The next group of people is called, um, no, four groups of people, sorry, five groups all up, right? Top next group is, is about 7% of people who are in the market, right? But they're doing research. They're not quite ready to pull the trigger yet. You know, it's not the biggest priority in their business. They've got other things going on or in, their, in their life, but they, they are both product aware and solution aware. Right? So if you're really marketing, you would have heard these product aware, solution aware kind of terms. The next three groups down, I kind of break up into three areas um, and roughly 30% of the market each, right? Um, the next 30% is what I would call not yet a client. Hmm. Right? Um, and those people who are aware they've got this problem in their life or in their business, but it's not the biggest priority for them. Right? So I know, for example, that I've got to come up with school fees for you know, school next year, but that's, next, that's tomorrow me's problem. That's next year's problem. Right? It's not the biggest problem I've got today. Today I've got to get the car um, serviced because my wife and I are heading up to Queensland for Christmas, right? That's a more immediate problem. That's one I've got to sort out today. Um, the next group after that, and, and, and people in your business have those problems as well, right? We've got problems. I know I need more staff. I know I need automation. I know I need to get my brand sorted out. Whatever it happens to be, you know, you've got those problems in your business, but it may not be the big one you need to sort of nail today. The next group is what I call not a clue. <laughs> And those people who don't know that you've got a problem, they don't know that they've got a problem that you can fix. Now it's very hard to market these to these people, and if you've tried to cold call them before, they're like, I don't know that I've got a problem, right? right. Even if they, you know, they do. And the last group of clients is what I call not a client. That even if we could sell to them, we probably don't want them in our business. Yeah, for sure. All right. Now, 
Okay, that's the sort of larger market form. The second concept we need to sort of be aware of is how we build relationships with people. Now, business is built on relationships. We're not in the B2C or B2B or B2, B2 government or whatever. Right? We're in human to human. People buy from people. And we kind of forget that when we get into business, that our business relationships largely parallel our personal relationships. Right. right? You yeah. find someone who's interest in a bar, you move them from the, you know, their group of friends to the dance floor, to the booth, to, you know, flowers and chocolates and dates and eventually pop them, you know, pop the question. And then we kind of remember more flowers and chocolates and anniversaries to keep that relationship going. Now it's very loose, yeah. <laughs> loose interpretation, but in business, we can't, we have to sort of, if we want to build long-term relationships with our clients, we've got to do the same thing in that every single product has a repeat purchase cycle even funerals, right? People will buy more than one funeral from us, right? Longer term if we're selling funerals. So we've got to look at how do we build those relationships in the same way, right? So how do I find someone who's somewhere on that larger market formula? How do I build a relationship with them until such time as they're ready to buy from us and then be top of mind when they go, who am I going to purchase? Who am I going to get to solve my problem today? Now, marketing automation and our CRM, so our contact management system, contact relationship management system. And I say contact and not customer because there are other stakeholders in our business that we want to manage relationships with as well. Right? That allows us to track and manage all of the conversations and stages of relationship with our business clients exactly the same way that we inherently manage the personal relationships we have with our, you know, significant others and friends and family and so on. Yeah. So our CRM system allows us to manage the relationship with their business customers, right? But unlike our personal life where we can get away with one marriage, our business needs lots of marriages. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, and we need to, we need to, we, this technology allows us to not only communicate on our behalf, but also track and manage those conversations. So that's why it becomes really important. I'm, I can see you nodding right there going, now I'm getting it about why I'm doing this in my business right now, which I know is the journey you're going through. Yeah, that's a hundred percent right. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what we're going to look at do is, is, is the, we're going to start thinking when we sort of map out um, our automation um, and it, look, it is a complex process. Okay. Um, it is both a, a dollar intensive and a time intensive thing. You can't just buy software off the shelf and expect it to cure what ails your business and be the silver bullet. You are literally trying to map out every single conversation you should, you could have. And again, that's not something that happens on day one. That's happening. That's something that happens continuously over time. As we go, what is it that I need this system to do? What is the communication I would have at this point of my customer relationship? Right. And how can I do that at, at scale and, and with leverage? Mm, nice. There was a tagline that you, uh, I love that you say, um, oh, it's, it's something to do with like uh, bleeding money or is it? I find, and, I find and fix the holes in your business where all the money leaks out. That's it. But not into your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, it, but it's, it's, there, there, there are so many, there are so many, right? Um, and particularly at the top of the funnel, again, coming back to that larger market formula, if we just sell into the people who are ready to buy from us for today, and throwing all the other, let's call them fish, back into the ocean. All we've done is really raise the awareness that that person's got a problem and they're likely to buy from somebody else. Yeah, perfect, like that. Okay. So I guess um, right. to go from here, uh, what would what like what would a business be asking that would help them identify that this is an area that they really need to hone in on? Um, and then how would you solve it? I think um, there's, a, there's a couple of ways that you can identify whether your business is, is ready for this sort of technology um, or to sort of invest in a project like this. Uh, and the answer is yesterday. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. I mean, look, I am kidding and I'm not kidding, right? So definitely, look, this, is, this sort of stuff is almost more important than your website is now. Website's fantastic for converting conversations in it, right? from traffic into conversations. This helps you manage your leads. So if you're at a point in your business where you're finding yourself sort of bouncing off a glass ceiling, you're a little bit disorganized, you know that someone you should have followed up three weeks ago 
you know, hasn't been followed up and you're sort of going, oh, I can't really call them, um, you know, because now I'm a bit embarrassed. Um, and if any time that you've got repeatable tasks in your business, which is just about always, um, you know, that's a good sort of indicator. And, and particularly when you're not getting to stuff, right? Um, you'll find that this is a sort of really good, you know, litmus test in your business to go, this is now when I need to start looking at investing, um, you know, in this tech that allow me to be both more consistent and, and you know, and scalable in our business, right? Because we eventually just run out of time. But if we can turn a five-minute task that doesn't seem like very much into a 30-second task, or better yet, get it off your plate altogether, um, you'll find that very quickly that's the kind of time that you can then free up to work on higher value activities in your business. Yeah, which right? predominantly is your design of growing, growing the business, sales, things like that. Yeah, so it could be, it could be something like responding to an email inquiry. Yeah. Right? Thanks very much for getting in touch. It could be passing um, customer data from your CRM to your billing system when someone purchases. Right? So that makes it easier for that billing, you know, your zero account to um, reconcile back and forth. Um, it might be, you know, a follow up on a webinar to say, hey, thanks for attending. I noticed you only got 50% through the webinar. Or halfway through, you missed some really key points. Here's the link to watch the second half. Um, it might be, I mean, we, we have this stuff like in our lives already and we don't really realize it, right? The, the text message you get from your hairdresser that says, confirming your appointment tomorrow, just yes or no if you can make it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we can do. You know, reminders to turn up to events. Right? whether it be a one-on-one -on -one phone call or whether it's to, to a, you know, a, a conference, you know, with 5,000 people, right? We're surrounded by this stuff already and the big players are using it. And we've got this opportunity now as, as small businesses to kind of, I guess, scale much more rapidly and easily than we ever had before and use some of the tools that the big boys, you know, previously kept to themselves. Mm. Perfect. Cool. All right. I think that, I think that's uh, like sums up a lot just there. That was really good. Um, I guess uh, if uh, if I was someone, who, a business owner, who was interested in learning more about you, what you do, where would I go? How would I how to go about it? Oh, look, you know, I guess you know, if you want to, feel feel free to reach out to me at, at winmoreclients.com.au. Um, I know that if you've got any questions from what we've talked about, just pop them in the comments below. Or look, I'm around in the digital business um, shelter. Uh, just to help anyone who's got questions on this space. Um, you know, that's what the whole, you know, the group is about. So if you've got questions you want to know, just feel free to ask them below. Don't make the mistake of just seeing out what CRM do you use to other people. They have different businesses to yours, different goals, different requirements, right? So just because someone says, do this one, it's awesome. Just says to me that they've never tried the, any of the 3,500 systems that are out there. <laughs> Okay, I didn't even really have an answer. I have a questions about what does my business need to do. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Okay, I guess that's perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Tim, for jumping on here. Um, now, I'm sure that, uh, a lot of the uh, people in the group are going to really see a lot more of you as well. Uh, it's uh, it's changed a massive part in my business, so I totally am all for automation and, and like the email marketing sequences, everything behind that. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. And my pleasure, my pleasure. Cool. See you on the inside. See you soon. Bye.